guys, welcome back to my little space on YouTube. Today I have created this subtle glam makeup look for you all. Using drugstore makeup only, which I got during the Black Friday sale. I'm also gonna mention the deals that I bagged these items for in the description bar below. So don't forget to check it out. And now, if you're interested in watching how I created this look, then please keep on watching. <laughs> This one I wanted to try out for a really long time. I had my exams going on, so the dark circle situation is like the worst. And I'm so sorry if the voice is disturbing you because it's just early morning and everybody just is on the go like I am. I'm gonna start blending it out with a brush. I'm not using a beauty blender because my skin has been acting up since September now. And finally, winter is blessing me with good skin so i want to maintain that and this is the worst skin phase that i've had in my life i don't want anything unnecessary touching my face like the beauty blender because it can hold back a lot of chemicals in it so i'm using a brush lately and this one uh, works really good so i struggled to find an affordable good quality foundation slash concealer blending brush like base blending brush for a long time but then i found this one by pack and i'm really happy I feel like this concealer is a tad bit dark for me because I look orangish right now. What do you think? Like yeah, towards the yellow tone. Might have to go in with foundation. But guess what? But I buy my foundation also a little bit darker. <laughs> this one I had from before only because I wanted a lightweight foundation. That's why I bought this. So I mix aloe vera gel with my foundation so it becomes a shade lighter. I've applied a little bit of the brightening concealer from Maybelline on the lid of my eye and on the under eye because I'm going to do eye makeup today. I'm just going to cover my eye. I'm just using the setting spray to set my base makeup powder and it's the worst if it gets into your eye and it just went in my eye and I'm in pain and now it's fine. <laughs> So this little face palette is actually a collaboration between Makeup Revolution and Patricia Bright. So I'm really excited about this one. This is a highlighter, this is a contour slash bronzer and this is a blush which is in a really pretty shade. So these two are matte and this is shimmery of course because it's highlighted. With this palette I got this little Sophie X lipstick free and I'm really happy because it's a nude shade. Oh my god I love nude. Another thing that I got from Makeup Revolution itself is this contour stick it's actually a stick foundation which i got in the darkest shade possible that it's f13 let's go oops so like a good girl i'm going to use a mirror to do it i think i brought it a little too down so on that part i'm gonna go people are gonna think that i'm crazy makeup is not easy friends <laughs> I think the best way is just dabbing it on the brush. Then I'm going to take this wine colored blush from this palette. A little bit of amount only because I know this is very, very pigmented. I'm going to dust it off. Again, with the same blush, I'm going to take this darker shade. And just with a very light hand, I'm going to merge the contour and the blush in three taking my eyeshadow brush and taking this powder contour and contouring my nose do you see the difference between the two sides like hello friends i got botox done wow don't worry it's not gonna look like that i'm gonna blend it out so i'm gonna set my I with a compact powder first before I go in with any color on top. And while that settles in, I'm gonna do my brows. For that, I'm gonna use this brow gel, which is very convenient. You're just gonna see. Wow, that's done! Brows done. Now taking the same contour shade. Same my outer corner I'm using this palette so that I can show makeup look with minimal amount of products or palettes used at least this is something that I've picked up from makeup artists in the past two years after being their model 
for you guys this is what i have this is a liquid eye shadow this is the first time i got a liquid i'm going to apply the soft camera because i haven't done this before so i did it on this eye and i'm going to show you guys this eye trick with this product is that you don't blend it out you just place it and dab 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 very lightly to be honest i'm not mad at it because it's the first time that i used it and it's decent enough would like to use this so i'm going to go in with the highlighter shade of this palette with the eyeshadow brush only i think the shine that's coming through is only through the stroke cream that i used No, no, no! I don't think this is staying off well. I am used to very blinding highlights, so this is okay. You can use it with Vaseline if you want to make it look popping. So with this brush, it didn't quite show up, but with fingers, it's here. Can you see it? If you are planning to get a curler, and if you are waiting for someone to tell you, then I am telling you, go get it because it makes a huge difference. So I'm using a lip primer because I don't want my makeup to transfer on my mask. Maybelline just came up with their new coffee edition lipsticks, and oh my god! Can you guess which shade I'm in? Anyone, please? It's in the shade hazelnut. I already have a favorite from Matte Ink range of Maybelline. But I think this might be my new favorite. This is a collaboration between Sophie, I think Sophie and Makeup Revolution. It says Soph X Makeup Revolution, and again, it's new lipstick. And I and I'm dying to try this out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my hair. Ain't I a little proud today? I am. I am. What do you think about this makeup look? Please let me know in the comment section down below, and I will definitely reply to you as soon as I see it. It will mean a lot to me if you subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.